Happy New Year! Hello everybody, my name's Claire Bowen and we are in Cornwall in my studio. It's been a while since I've done a video, lots of different reasons, but Mr B is not able to do it today. Um, he's filming just this little bit now, but he's then up to the attic to do some painting himself on the walls. How exciting. How exciting. So we thought that I would just do a little video because I was missing doing it and missing um, being able to do some videos for you. So this little teapot I got from my sister, um, I think it's really cute. It's a little enamel red teapot, which I thought goes really nicely on this little gingham um, napkin. So I've set this up. We're going to do an eight by eight uh, board. Um, and yes, I'm ready to paint. So I hope that you're ready to watch. Okay, let's go. Oops, I forgot to say, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would be fab. Uh, and also I wanted to just quickly tell you about the four workshops I'm doing this year, 2023. Um, plein air painting in Cornwall from this house um, and my studio with Mr B helping. It would be lovely to see if you've ever wanted to do plein air, this is the time to do it. All the blur, all the information's in my blurb. Do have a look. Thank you. As I said, this is an eight by eight board and it's a Raymar make with a linen cover on the top. Uh, so I'm using um, Viridian and uh, Permanent Rose as a starting base for sketching out. I want to have some of this um, this tablecloth thing in it so I'm just marking out where I can get the parameters of the the teapot. I want to make sure I can fit everything in because it's annoying if you start it off and then you miss off something. Um, so I hope that you've all had a good new year. I'm not feeling too worse for wear this morning. Um, whenever I start a painting, I always look for the light and darks. So the light and dark shapes um, in here. You can see that there's a reflection in there as well of the handle and that's dark. I've also got a um, the light reflecting back in here, so I can see that kind of paper in there um, and where the highlights are. So I'm looking for the light and dark shapes. And then I'm gonna start with the darks. So I've mixed together some um, permanent rose and a little bit of it's complementary colour, um, Viridian, and I'm going to have it quite thin to start with. The brush I'm using is a Rosemary and Coal Co Ultimate Short Flat, and it's a size 8. Whew, not used to using red, wow. It's quite fun, isn't it? Um, so my brush strokes are following the, the shape of the pot. I'm going to go a little bit darker, I think, adding some ultramarine as well as the viridian, just to give it a bit more, there we go, darkness. I want to make sure it's dark enough so the light looks light. You know what I mean? You can't have lights without dark. I've made the hand a little bit shorter than it is because I want it to fit onto the uh, the square board. I could have had a, a longer board, but I felt like it kind of, the roundness of it suited this perimeter of a square board. I don't know if you can hear Mr. B, he is whistling <laughs> in the attic doing painting, we've had insulation and we've made it into a room up there. So it's been a long time coming over a year. It's quite exciting to get it done. So I'm going light, uh, thin to start with so I can work back into it straight away. Um, I'm going thin to fat. So thin paint watered down, well watered, thinned with turpentine. Um, 
and then in the later layers I won't use any if you know try not to use hardly any turpentine or none. I'm feeling a little bit um, rusty as well because of you know all the things that happen over Christmas and Mr B and I also got unwell with Covid um, so it feels really nice to be back in the studio. So I'm now going to just go to a mid, mid value here. So in other words, less um, viridian and blue. No white at the moment because I want it translucent. And then I'm going to go to scarlet, which is a orange red. You can see the difference there. I'm going to have it even more so to show the lights. So already he's kind of looking quite bonny, um, which is pleasing. This uh, kind of gingham material is got quite a lot of white in it, but I don't want to put any white in there at the moment because if you put white in it, it's harder. It's kind of locked down a bit more. Um, it's harder to manipulate. So I'm, I've just thinned it down a bit more, the, um, the paint. going over the edge of this table, hence the, the shape. Hopefully I can make it look like it's doing that. I don't know whether that's a mistake or not. I decided I didn't like it and I lifted the board up onto a platform there, lifted this tablecloth up so it's, it's not hanging over. I think it was just too complicated for the size of board for me. Um, it needs to be a bit more simplified. So I'm going to try that again. <laughs> These things happen. You know, when you're painting, it's all a bit of a, um, you know, experimenting really. And I don't mind that it goes wrong or doesn't work. I haven't painted many um, tablecloths before. I'm just going to give it an idea and not worry too much at this point. It's because it's got some colour in there already, I can work on it. Okay, so I'm now going to go into and make, um, I need to do the background because it's part of it. So I'm going to use The complementary um, colour of Viridian. I think it needs to be light because it will show them the, the, the lovely contours. I tried it with black paper behind and it didn't look very good, I'll show you. You see it, it kind of, um, it's a bit heavy on him. Mm. Although I do quite like that too. Hmm. <laughs> it's not easy making these decisions. I don't know. I might experiment, I think. I'm gonna try. Um, try the dark. So I've mixed together 
viridian and the red that I use for the teapot, which is permanent rose, because um, it's the complementaries and they kind of cancel each other out and you get a sort of a, a grey. It would look more grey if I added white to it. Let's see. I don't like it I can wipe it off again I haven't put any white in so it will be easier to move it around if I use just black you know because I could use like an ivory black but it wouldn't be so colorful can you see that there is color in there as well you know you've got a kind of a colorful gray which is quite nice It helps to block in first um, before I kind of make it the finished thing. So um, it helps to see what it will look like. Something I haven't told you is that I'm doing the Strada Easel Challenge, never done it before. You might not know what it is. It's um, a company in the US who sell and make easels that you can paint outside with. Um, the reason I'm doing it is to paint for 30 days. That's the challenge, you paint every day. This is day one, so the 1st of January. And, um, you do it for every day of January um, and then you show it on social media like Instagram. So I'm quite looking forward to doing that because it will mean that I'll get to paint every day and get into a kind of a rhythm. So that's the reason I'm doing it. I've decided to make it a little bit bluer in the back here because it's a bit too purple and I'm not that keen on it. I think purple and Red, I do go, but I'm liking blue better. So I've pushed it more with the ultramarine and added a little bit of white just to see what it's going to look like. I think it's better. So this next stage, I want to make sure that I've got enough paint. You know, I'm adding kind of lusciousness to the oil paint. So I'm going to go back to the um, thicker and darker first, where the um, where the dark areas are. So because I've now put a dark background in, it's reflecting back into here, and I can see the darkness there. Um, so I want to make sure I get that shape and um, exaggerate it. You know, make sure I can see it. I'm going to get some more paint. Permanent Rose, it's Winsor & Newton colour. Just to show you it. There we are. And at this stage, I'm trying not to use um, any thinners. So you can see the difference. It's quite... Uh, yes, shows it. So I'm looking for any darks and also to get the shape a bit better. Because it's only one and one object, you can't kind of hide anywhere has to work. No blagging. I can't bear that background. I'm going to have to 
uh, have another go at this. Better. The joy of oil paint is that I can go over the top and it's it's fine, you can do that. So when I do this and this, I feel like I need to do that as well to kind of um, check that it's working. So when I want to make a kind of a, um, a neutral colour, because in there it's neutral, it's not, it's not yellow, blue or red, but I'm going to mix all three of those together, the, the primaries and then add white. Because all the three primaries mixed together makes a neutral color. I'm gonna just lean it slightly to the red as though it's reflecting the color down. That need to be a bit darker. I'm looking for some lighter areas to put in. So I've done lighter background there and darker there, so it complements the light and darks of the spout. So it makes it really stand out. Because I can choose, don't have to do exactly what's there. I'm using a um, Pro Art Sterling Long Flat. It's a uh, synthetic. When you study just one thing, you the more you look, the more you see. And there's so much going on in this pot. I'm going to simplify it because there's way too much to put in here. I can see all the reflection of the window and myself and the tablecloth. It's huge. So as I'm looking, I'm, I'm trying to see where the lightest lights are. So that there's a kind of a line down there to see where the, um, the light part of the teapot is compared to the dark. It's kind of light, mid, dark. Breaking it down. I want it to be painterly, so it's it's not you know you can see the paintbrush marks. In other words. And for it not to be too perfect. There's a darker rim, which is round here. Helps to define the shape. So it's dark in there and then lighter where the light is hitting it just a little bit in there. These little touches just help to make the shape work better, make it read. I'm not doing it exactly as it is. Um, I'm 
I'm just getting a kind of feel of it. And also, I'm doing it more muted and then I can lift it. Just working on the shadow. Um, it needs to be a bit redder, I think, in here. Not quite so bluey colour. I'm going to put a bit of this reflection from the tablecloth into the bottom here. So I've added some white um, to my mix. I don't want it too strong because it's still, when you squint your eyes, it's still a dark value. Um, but you can see the pattern in there. I'm going to put in this window reflection. Um, it, I may need to go a bit lighter, but we'll start with that and then come back to it. Also, there's quite a light in here. Spout's a little chunky at the moment, but we can sort him out. There is light on here as well. And on the edge. That black rim needs to go in. I'm going to use the brush that I drew out in. I've used the same colour as the background but with a bit of red mixed in there so that he links in nicely. I'll show you my palette at the end. Take the camera down and have a look. I do miss Mr. B when I'm doing these videos on my own, but I hope that you still enjoy it uh, without him. Feels as though it's still a bit dark, so I'm gonna lift the mid areas, but still kind of watching, observing what is in there as well. At the same time, I can add, you know, the thickness of paint, which will add to the lusciousness. I notice that there is a white rim under that um, lid, so that will help to lift it.
I'm going to add to this it's two mid tone, it needs to be lighter. Um, and there's another one which isn't quite so light in here. some work into this background again um, and therefore I can sculpt this neck so I'm going to go back in again with the, the red that shape better. I think I've done it a little bit dark too. reflection back from the actual pot from there into there it's not hitting um, direct light you can see it under there so it's darker than the highlights can come in on that shape a little bit and make it smaller like that so I've decided just to lighten this up to have the contrast between the two because it was disappearing which I could have but I decided I wanted it to show up this background um, so there is some difference in there now so over there, I might be able to make that a bit lighter still. Just looking for some last touches to put in here. Um, just to get this a bit lighter, um, and maybe a little bit of the um, gingham kind of light and dark in places as well. Just a read as gingham. I think that's nearly there. Well, thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please like it and subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. Uh, it was a fun paint and um, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.